28 Days, Moments in Black History That Changed the World by Charles R. Smith, Jr. March 5, 1770, Crispus Attucks is shot by British soldier, beginning the Boston Massacre and ultimately the Revolutionary War. Crispus Attucks was a man self-made. Crispus Attucks was a man unafraid. When the Redcoats turned on the colonists with guns, Crispus Attucks stood tall and challenged each one. One shot, two shots, straight to the chest. Crispus Attucks went down, his heart put to rest. A slave, a sailor, a patriot was he. Crispus Attucks struck the first blow for liberty. First to defy, first to die, Crispus Attucks sacrificed for the flag we hold high. Day 2, March 6, 1857, Dred Scott decision denying the right of citizenship to black people after slavery ended. Day 3, March 13, 1862, Robert Smalls, a slave in the Confederate crew on a ship, commandeers it, sails it north and delivers it to the Union. Under cloak of night, planter disappears, stolen to freedom. Robert Smalls became a wheelman, ship's pilot, and eventually a captain for the Union during the Civil War. He was the first black captain of an American ship and ultimately achieved the rank of Major General. Robert was unable to read or write, but that did not stop him from speaking with President Abraham Lincoln about the Union using slaves in the military. He became a popular speaker and took that skill into politics where he served five terms in the U.S. Congress working for the rights of blacks. Day 4, July 9, 1868, 14th Amendment to the Constitution overturns Dred Scott decision, 14th Amendment, Section 1. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. We are free to go. Day 5, July 9, 1893, Daniel Hale Williams successfully performs first heart operation before the inventions of penicillin, antibiotics, or x-rays. Stab wounded, heart fills, chest with blood. No medicine. Doctor is tested. Chest incision reveals heart. With calm, doctor reveals skill. Day 6, May 18, 1896. Plessy v. Ferguson decision, stating that separate but equal facilities were fair. That the separate car act does not conflict with the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery, is too clear for argument. A statute which implies merely a legal distinction between the white and colored races, a distinction which is founded in the color of the two races and which must always exist so long as white men are distinguished from the other race by color, has no tendency to destroy the legal equality of the two races. The object of the 14th Amendment was undoubtedly to enforce the absolute equality of the two races before the law, but in the nature of things it could not have been intended to abolish distinctions based upon color or to enforce social as distinguished from political equality or a commingling of the two races upon terms unsatisfactory to either. Day 7, April 6, 1909, Matthew Henson and Robert Perry reached the North Pole, the first men to ever do so. Mary Pollock, the kind one, adventurous, tenacious, teacher, historic, educated, world traveler. Day 8, March 10, 1913, Harriet Tubman dies of pneumonia, a eulogy. Here lies Harriet, a life full, fully lived for 93 years, born into slavery, put to housework at the age of five under her mistress's watchful eye. Harriet, born Amaretta, managed to stay alive, was young Amaretta, called Minty, greeted with the whip the start of each day, 
Yes, she was. When she stole a lump of sugar, did Minty endure four days and four nights in a pig pen fighting an old sow and nine of her piglets for potato peelings and old scraps in the trough to escape the beating? Yes, she did. Did Minty endure a blow to her head that cracked her skull, giving her a lifetime of headaches, blackouts, and visions? Visions she felt were messages from God. Day 9, May 15, 1918, Henry Johnson single-handedly fights off a platoon of Germans in the Argonne Forest during World War I to keep his friend Needham Roberts from being captured. To Europe, Private Henry Lincoln Johnson was sent to join the Harlem Hellfighters and all-back Black Regiment. Keep on the sidelines by the U.S. Army, the Hellfighters saw action with the French military. Private Henry Johnson saw action one night, standing watch, when ambushed by Germans in a fight. Bullets from the east, bullets from the west, two bullets caught Private Johnson in the chest. By Henry's side, Private Needham Roberts fought. The two hit with grenades, stabbed and shot. Bloodied but not dead, Private Roberts didn't drop. Wounded 21 times, Private Johnson didn't stop. Grenades exploded. His bilo right knife sliced as Private Johnson fought for his and his friend's life. Eight critically wounded and four dead Germans lay, the commander included, so the enemy ran away. The Harlem Hellfighter lived up to his name and returned home to a hero's acclaim. Day 10, May 25, 1919, Madam C.J. Walker dies, the richest black woman in America. Day 11, June 15, 1921, Bessie Coleman received her pilot's license in France since no American flight schools accepted women or blacks. Day 12, August 9, 1936, Jesse Owens wins his fourth Olympic gold medal. Day 13th, April 9th, 1939, Easter Sunday, Marian Anderson performs at the Lincoln Memorial. Day 14th, April 15th, 1947, Jackie Robinson, first African American to play in a major league baseball game. Day 15th, May 17th, 1954, Brown v. Board of Education Decision, Eliminating Segregation in Schools. Day 16th, December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks sits. Day 17th, May 26, 1956, Athea Gibson becomes first black woman to win a tennis title. August 25th, 1968, Arthur Ashe becomes the first black man to win a tennis title. Day 18th, September 25th, 1957, Little Rock 9, attend classes in Little Rock Central High School under the protection of the U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division. Day 19, September 11, 1960, Wilma Rudolph wins third Olympic gold medal.
day 20th, August 28th, 1963, March on Washington, Martin Luther King Jr. delivers I Have a Dream speech. Day 21, February 21st, 1965, Malcolm X is assassinated. Day 22nd, October 2nd, 1967, Thurgood Marshall sworn in as the first black Supreme Court Justice. Day 23, January 25th, 1972, Shirley Chisholm declares herself as a presidential candidate for the Democratic Party, the first black woman to ever do so. Day 24, April 8th, 1974, Hank Aaron hits his 715th home run, breaking Babe Ruth's long-standing career home run record. Day 25, August 30th, 1983, Guy Belt Bluford becomes first black astronaut launched into space aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger. September 12th, 1992, Mae Jemison becomes first black female astronaut in space aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Day 26, May 10, 1994, Nelson Mandela, inaugurated as first black president of South Africa. Day 27, February 27, 2003, Forbes magazine declares Oprah Wimpy first black female billionaire in the world history. Day 28, January 20, 2009, Barack Obama inaugurated as first black president. Day 29, today, what will today bring? What will today be? Will today be the day you make history? Will your thoughts evolve science? Will your skill earn gold? Will your life story be one worth being told? Will your questions change laws? Will your words inspire others? Will your name be passed on by fathers and mothers? Will the fire in your spirit spark a revolution? Will your actions advance humanity's evolution? Will others follow you into battle to defend liberty? Will today be the day you add to history? Today is the day. Today is to be.